Our next honor, the Hidden Figure Award, is presented to an individual who works tirelessly behind the scenes, often doing what others will not, the work that slowly but surely creates long-term and meaningful change. While this person rarely gets recognition, it is their efforts that ultimately fortify the strength of our democracy. Here to present the Hidden Figure Award, please join me in welcoming the CEO of the American Association for Justice, Linda Lipson. <laughs> Can you all hear me? Um, hello, everyone. Um, this auditorium fills me with hope for the future. I'm going to thank every single one of you. <laughs> I needed hope today. <laughs> um, so, let's just take the Wayback Machine for just a bit. Uh, 30 years ago, when I started my career, my, uh, actually my second career at the American Association for Justice, which is the organization that represents lawyers, that represent people who have had horrible things happen to them. Um, we're dedicated to making sure that people get a fair shake when harm comes to them by negligent companies. So I, I, <laughs> I met this little girl, actually, um, named Andrea Haley, who was the daughter of our president, um, Rich Haley, who's sitting right there. Um, Rich, can you just stand up, just because I have to acknowledge you as well. <laughs> Um, I met this little girl, and I was so uh, profoundly moved by the fact that she knew early on what her direction was going to be, that she was going to make a difference. I am so honored to be able to present the Hidden Figures Award to Andrea Haley, who is the CEO um, for Vote.org, a wonderful organization that has done everything they can to defeat all those democracy killers everywhere. Um, you know, Bill Clinton used to say, you've, I'm sure you've all heard him say this, that when there's a, you know, when there's a, uh, a turtle that gets to the top of a, of a fence post, there's a reason for it. He didn't just, they didn't just fly and, and sit on that fence post. Well, when more women, more people of color, more young people go to the polls in, in 2020 and 2022, there's a reason, and that reason is Andrea Haley. Andrea is a, a relentless optimist. An, Andrea doesn't see uh, barriers. She just sees opportunities. How can we fix this? When there's, you know, um, over the course of about five years, and I honestly, I have to admit, I never knew that democracy was so fragile. I never knew it. And then suddenly we're seeing all of these different um, efforts to make it harder for people to vote. I, I always felt that if you had the ideas, um, if you had the ideas and the right ideas, you could win people over. But instead, we saw this profusion of democracy-killing efforts. Well, kind of like whack-a-mole. Well, like, I actually call it whack-a-rat whack <laughs> because it's one, you, you kill one and then three more um, develop um, outside of that. Andrea and her fantastic organization has uh, taken the helm and, you know, when, when diplomacy works, she'll use that. She will. And she'll, she's so winning that she'll influence everyone and they'll come around. Or, or most of them will come around. Some of them will never come around, but we'll, we'll fix that later, right, Andrea? Um, right? Um, and when she has to pursue a lawsuit, she will do that, and she will win. Andrea is being recognized as a hidden figure today, but it's not going to be long, Andrea. Um, everyone's going to know your name, and we celebrate you, and please help me acknowledge Andrea Haley today. Hidden Figure Award. Wow. 
I could not have asked for a better introduction. I hope everybody indulges me for two seconds here um, because you know that's a full circle moment for me. <laughs> Linda Lipson is my friend, but she is also my hero, and I have looked up to her my entire life. So to be able to um, have this award presented by Linda means a lot. I think that it's a reminder to me that as we all lead, we're influencing all the people around us, ones that you may not know. You know you're influencing your team and your friends and your family, but there may be a little girl out there saying, you know what, I can make a difference too. I watched Linda fight um, my whole life to make sure that the world's a little bit better for people that are injured all across this country. So I was inspired to make sure that our democracy is a little healthier and a little bit better and that I also pass something a little bit stronger onto the next generation. Um, I want to thank Gain tonight uh, and Amy Pritchard. Thank you for giving us a place to celebrate and to have fun and to really uplift the work of everyone in this room. I had the great honor of um, being able to go on the Faith and Politics tour with Congressman John Lewis and Natasha, you did too. And I, um, back in 2016, I'm a super nerd. I've got some fun outfits on tonight, but I'm a real nerd. So um, back in 2016, I had a pen and paper, and, a, you know, my, and I was ready, and I was like, Congressman, what did you do back then that we aren't doing now? What, what is it? And I was ready for like a tactic, silver bullet, a thing that we just all collectively had not thought of. And he looked at me and he said, uh, you have to keep your joy. And... I literally wrote it down. I was like, keep your joy. And I had no idea what he was talking about. I was like, how is joy a tactic? How is joy a thing? Like, is it, maybe I just, we need to, do we need 10,000 more text messages in Flint? Like, I don't, what do we? And, um, and after a few years, man, I can tell you now, the most important thing is keeping your joy because it's how we all sustain in this work. It's how we do what we do every day. And it's how you, um, you know, Stay a hidden figure and keep going, whether you get recognition or not, because you're motivated, you're excited, you want to change the world, and you've kept your joy. Now, I've gone on a little tangent here, so I'll keep it a little short. Um, I want to thank everybody for really seeing the work that's happening at Vote.org. We all know what it feels like uh, to go unnoticed in a group, to be in the background of something, to maybe not be the loudest partner in a coalition, to do work that maybe no one sees, but you know the true impact of, and you see, you know what it's like to not always be in the in crowd. There may be things at home, family and friends, and things you do at home day to day where you're unseen or where the work um, happens. But I think the most important thing is we all keep showing up every day in that unseen work because we know how important it is. And you know, some of my why is right here. My family's here tonight. My dad's family is from West Philly via South Carolina, and my mom's family is from rural Indiana, southern Indiana, a little town called Orleans with one stoplight. And growing up, one of the things that I had to always hold, that I didn't always realize everybody else didn't hold, is that I had to hold space for all of these experiences and see how interlinked we all really are at the end of the day. So my why for why I show up is because drop boxes, I know, I can't believe we still have wars on drop boxes, but drop boxes in Philadelphia um, affect my family there and drop boxes in rural Indiana where I can get hours to get to the closest polling location affect my family there. Attacks on vote by mail affect us everywhere, um, affect both sides of my family. I think the attacks on the systems itself um, mean that we have to, you know, stay vigilant and keep showing up. I think the civil rights movement is now the heart of the larger democracy movement in our country and that we have to make sure that we stay resilient as we fight the forces that would make it so that we can't uh, have free and fair elections in our country. So um, I think, you know, with that, I want to say to everybody here, I see you, I see the work you do. I'm so humbled by this award, and I promise that the tomorrow that we have, I'm glad for the award for everything that happened in 2020 and for everything that just happened in the midterms, we registered 4 million people at Vote.org. We ran a Get Out the Vote campaign that reached a billion voter contacts over the last two cycles. 
We filed lawsuits in Florida, Georgia. We won our federal court lawsuit in Texas. It's up on appeal now. Um, and we're going to keep going. So as excited as I am about this award and about all the hidden figures here tonight, I just want to say we all have a lot to, of work to do and a lot of joy to have and a lot of celebration to have as we go into this presidential cycle. And I look forward to partnering with everyone here so that we can make tomorrow a little better. I think um, there's a friend that said, everything you do will never seem like it's enough, but all of it is important. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for your work.